Hey guys, so this is a quick installation guide on how I install Bridge for Megascans. It's pretty straightforward. You go to their website, um, register. After you did that, you could go on products, click on Bridge. This thing pops up, download it, install it. Pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to go over it. Um, it's next once you get it. Um, and then after that, you have to go into their help section. It's kind of a pain in the butt to find it, but I'll provide a link. But this is what it, if you want to search for it, this kind of where it's at. Um, and what you do is basically scroll all the way down to the bottom and download their plugin that they have for Blender. So Windows, download it, um, and then install it. And then, so basically follow the directions, throw it into the Blender folder. And then once you have that, <clears throat> you pretty much open up Blender. And in Blender, you, this is kind of weird, but you have to do this, I think, each time because I had some issues before where it doesn't export the texture or the model. Um, so once I open Blender, I kind of do this automatically now. Um, I hit this button right here, Mega Scans Import. So you hit that button. And once you did that, it kind of like creates the bridge between the two. Um, and backtrack in here. So once you install this Pixel bridge, um, you need to specify which program is going to, where it's going to be sending this. Uh, texture and model too. So under settings, I think it's asks you when you first start it up, but if it doesn't, you go to edit settings and then over here you could change it. So if you're using multiple like Cinema 4D and Blender, you can change between and it'll send it to either one of those. So right now, Blender, click save. And that's pretty much it. And then after that, pretty much look through the library that they have. They got a shit ton of stuff. It's awesome. Um, and then just hit the download button up here. And after you got it downloaded, I use the ones that I already have, so it's quicker. I'll just use, I don't know, matter. Let's use the first one. So click on this, and then over here you could specify uh, the resolution that you want. So I usually use 2K. Um, some of them have like 8K, but this is kind of like overkill for what I'm doing. So I'm going to paint over it anyway, uh, unless it's something like super close. Maybe I'll go 4K. Um, so anyway, so 2K is usually good enough, and then these are the ones that I use. You could bump in there um, click as many as you want mess around with them these are just different maps and they come um, automatically connected with nodes so really helpful so anyway so you hit this thing and then you just hit export on the top uh, or down here whichever one you prefer I just do it up here it's quicker so hit that and then I'll tell you if it's successful or not if it's not <clears throat> you'll see some red text here and usually if you close blender and the bridge and then reopen them up it usually works fine um, haven't had any issues with that just yet. And then uh, once you're in Blender, so create a plane. And I use the industry standard ones here, um, my controls that is, because I am stubborn and I don't want to relearn all the keys. I'm going to have to do it anyway. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, touch on that in a little bit. Um, so anyway, so you created a plane, then you want to, the materials are usually down in the materials, so it's here. Oh, where did it go? And just click that, and then you could see it. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's how you get the texture in here. And then, if we go back to bridge, let's just get a model in there, so see what it looks like. Anyway, same thing here, download the model, export, couple seconds later pops up here let's get rid of this cube oh maybe it didn't uh, let's try again export uh, up down and there you have it and then this is kind of what it looks like EV this is pretty much default I didn't change anything it already looks pretty cool um, on this really easily um and then what else did i want to cover with this one um so yeah um my controls that i use they're under preferences and then key mapping i want to check that out i use the industry standard ones so basically to move i use wer um and then all that other stuff i just use um well, just drop down menus so some of the shortcut keys don't work for me that are in tutorials. So I kind of had to 
but a long way to figure it out but i got to know the program a little better i kind of know where everything is so if the shortcut doesn't know uh it doesn't work i can actually find it wherever it is um so the tutorials i'm going to be doing are going to be using this controls and i'll just show you where it is and then maybe you could assign a shortcut for it if you want it's super easy to do so if you want to add like a cube each time you could right click on this and then assign a shortcut and then just press a button and there you have it so you can create your own um i kind of do it as i go if i need to um and yeah that's pretty much it hope this helped